Now sometimes there's a car that comes into our lives and completely changes how we view them, how we drive them, and how we want to modify them. Now what is it about the Subaru WRX and STI that has made it become a tuner classic throughout the years? Is it because the car has been around for so long now that people have just wanted to try them out because they dropped in price? Now maybe it's just the younger versions of ourselves that want to drive around a car with a massive wing, a loud exhaust, and fun turbo noises. But regardless of the fact, you can't deny that the STI has become a popular car throughout the years since its inception into the United States. So let's talk about it. Why is this car so great? And what makes it so fun to drive? All right, what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to take some time and I wanted to talk to you guys about why the WRX and the STI are such great tuner cars and why people continue to buy them. Now, I hope you guys like the intro because I did want to try something a little different here with this one. So if you liked it, maybe we'll keep doing it. Maybe I'll keep coming back up here. But right now we are at the base of Mount Rainier up in the Pacific Northwest of Washington, more specifically the bottom of Carbonado or just the city of Carbonado. They have some really nice back roads back here that are perfect for some mountain driving. So I thought it was pretty fitting bringing the STI up here considering that that is one of the major selling points of why this car is so good. Now when it comes to the WRX and the STI, you will see this car in almost any motorsport division that you're looking at. Time attack, autocross, drag racing, even drifting. This car has made an impact on every motorsport that I can think of. Now, with that being said, I mean, the drifting aspect, I'm talking about more than just the BRZ. I am talking about the WRXs and the STIs because people out there do rear wheel drive convert the cars. And I think that it is awesome to see people doing that. Now, when it comes to the WRX and the STI, these cars have such a huge aftermarket standing behind them when it comes to the community. You have so many companies out there making so many different parts for these cars that it gives you so many options of how you want to build your car. However, for me, I want to talk about why I think this car is the perfect tuner car for anyone coming into cars or anyone who might already be in cars, but is highly considering a Subaru. Now these cars have multiple factors and it, there's a reason why I continue to buy them. One of which is the handling of the car itself. So just taking it up here into the mountains, it handles and responds so well. Plus this STI, my, well, plus my STI, as you guys know, this is on air suspension. So air suspension is notorious, um, if not set up properly, it is known to uh, not handle the best. Now with that being said, I have done a lot of work to get the suspension so it actually handles well. So this thing is a monster on these back roads. It, it's so fun. Now, outside of the handling aspect of the car, there are other reasons why I continue to buy STIs. And I think that Subaru did a really good job of making these cars so the DIY mechanic can do his or her own maintenance to the car. When it comes to a lot of cars out there, especially in the European market, it can be a real pain to actually start working on the cars. I've worked on a couple M3s in the past and they're, they're awful. There's so much cramped stuff put into the engine bay. Oh, hold up, I gotta stop. This is a one-way bridge. It's a one-lane bridge, so I can only... Only one car at a time. But like I was saying, I think Subaru did a really good job when they designed the EJ engine, if you know what you're doing to be able to do all of your own maintenance and all of your own work to it. It's easy to learn how to do things. It's minimal tools to do all of the work on the car as well. I made a video a couple, uh, probably a couple weeks ago now, showing you the basic tools that you need to be able to work on these cars. Now, one of the biggest reasons why I think this car does so well is because of the transmission. If you have never driven a STI, the six-speed transmission is probably the best on the market you get with an OEM car. The transmission itself can take quite the beating, and because of that, you can really thrash the car around a little bit. Plus, for the STI, you also get that center differential control, which allows you to get that power exactly how you want it for your driving style. So up here in the mountain, I've played with the center differential enough to where I can get it to a point where I'm extremely comfortable using it. Uh, but right now I'm just being lazy. I just have an auto minus just to give it a little bit more of a sportier feel as I'm driving through these roads. I've always had an appeal for these cars as well. Even when I was in, when I was in high school is when the attraction to Subarus really started. Uh, as most of you guys know, I started out with a 1988 Subaru XT Coupe. And that's what really grabbed me into the Subaru world. Now I knew absolutely nothing about cars when I got that thing. So buying, having a boxer engine as your first car uh, really sets the tone for the learning curve whenever you have to do things. 
we're going back over this one one lane bridge. I don't know if you guys can really see down there, but there's like a 600 foot drop. So if this bridge collapses, we're all we're all going down together. The inner child in me just wants to drive something with a massive wing, an extremely loud exhaust, and just let it reverb off of these canyon walls. <laughs> Sorry, I was getting I was getting into the mountain driving there for a minute. I've always had an attraction to Subarus. I think they do a really good job at building a community, which goes into the next point of why I think that WRX and the STI has become such a good tuner car, is the community behind it. Now, when you buy a Subaru, there are so many different forms you can join. Even if you don't have a Subaru and you're considering getting one, Facebook, Nasioc, all of these other online platforms have become like such a good resource for Subaru owners that it really puts a strong backing behind the car. You have tuners on there that answer questions. Uh, e hell, even I'm, I'm gonna give myself a shameless plug because I try to help you guys answer as many questions as you have. And the community is really what gives a car a really good backing as well. You can have one of the best cars on the planet, but if you don't know a lot about it, there's not gonna be a lot you can do if you have an issue and you wanna fix it yourself, aside from just trying to figure it out. Utilizing the resources that comes with the WRX and the STI is a huge plus to even this platform. Now there is one thing that I'm gonna say, a lot of people complain about this is the interior of the cars. The plastic, yes, the plastic is cheap. Yes, it creaks and it rattles. However, you're not buying an STI or a WRX to have a luxurious interior. I think that Subaru's done a really good job stepping up the interior game on the V8 chassis, but I don't think that anyone's specifically buying these cars to have a luxurious interior. People are buying these cars because they wanna modify them, they wanna take them up to the mountains, they wanna do stuff like this, and they wanna enjoy the car. A lot of the interior creaks and cracks can be fixed pretty easily if you just track them down and fix them yourself. Personally, I don't think the interior griping and groaming is a huge issue with the car. I think people blow it out of proportion a little bit, especially when I see a lot of these people reviewing cars. They're, they, oh, the, the dash is made out of plastic, all this other stuff. Yeah, to make a car affordable and to make it fun, you're gonna have to sacrifice some luxurious things for the sporty or the mechanical aspects of the car. Now, when it comes to the STI, I think the STI is by far one of the best cars on the market that will give you the best driver car connection that you can get. The STI is pretty much mechanical all the way through. If you look at the newer WRX, if you look at the BRZs, the FRSs, they all come with electronic steering racks. The STI still utilizes a standard power steering rack that uses power steering fluid to push everything through it. The gearbox is not a cable style where you're shifting and pulling a cable to put it into the next gear. It feels connected. Everything about this car feels connected to the driver. And I think that is one of the reasons why the STI is so popular. It is one of the best driver cars you can get on the market. Yes, there are other cars that'll make power easier for more money. However, I think that this one does a really good job in bringing the driver and the car connection to the road. You're not gonna have adjustable suspension or anything like that from the factory, but I'm gonna be honest, even an out of the box STI up in the mountains is a fun car to play with. And if you have never driven an STI up in the mountains and actually got onto the car, even if you own one, if you don't have mountains near you, find some awesome back roads, find some winding hills, find, find something that you can take the car out to and actually enjoy and play with it a little bit. These cars are meant to be played with, they're meant to have fun with, and you, you should enjoy them. Now, if you don't want to take them out to the mountains, but you still want to enjoy the car and, and beat on it a little bit, see if you can find a local autocross event, a local track event that you can take it out to and just play with the car. You don't have to be the fastest one out there to enjoy it. You don't have to, you don't have to push the car to its limits, but just start getting a little more comfortable with it. As you start to grow with the car, it'll grow with you and you will start wanting to modify it more to push the car farther and farther and farther. Another complaint that I hear from a lot of people that we touched on a little bit ago, is that the car doesn't have a lot of power and it's 
expensive to give the car a lot of power. I agree with that statement, but I don't think, especially for this, what I think it's intended for is just fun, windy back roads with moderate power. I don't think you need 650, 500 horsepower to enjoy the car. This STI only makes 330 horsepower and I'm having a hell of a good time even just recording it driving up in the mountains. If you get the STI to about 350 wheel horsepower and you go enjoy the car and you get the proper suspension set up, you're gonna have fun. Without a doubt, you will enjoy the car with three, hell, you'll enjoy it with 300 horsepower. You don't need to make five, 600 horsepower to enjoy the car. Now, I do believe that the car becomes unusable when you start putting too much power into it. When you start pushing five, 600 wheel horsepower, it's gonna be great for a straight line, but you're not gonna be able to use all that power in corners, turns, and the handling aspect of the car. You're gonna fly off the road, you're either gonna understeer or oversteer, and if you don't know how to correct that and you're just trying to shoot for a whole bunch of power, it can be pretty detrimental to your health because you can die, first of all, and you could uh, potentially destroy your car too, so. Keep that into consideration if you've never had one of these cars, that if you do want just a lot of horsepower in the car, it's gonna cost you some money. Now when it comes to the STI also, this is one of my favorite parts of it, is there are so many different body styles that you can choose which one you want. All of the cars are pretty interchangeable when it comes to the, when it comes to the revisions throughout the years. So if you want a hatchback, if you want an older sedan, if you want a newer sedan, you have all of these options to be able to get the car that you want. Now because of that, I think it really pushes the STI up on that tutor level a little bit more because you do get more opportunity and more versatility when it comes to buying the car. Now because of everything that we talked about, I firmly do believe that this is one of the best tuner cars that you can buy on the market for anywhere from 10 to $35,000 if you do want to get an older used one or if you do want to get a newer one. But I did want to make this video just to touch on some of these aspects of why I personally enjoy these cars so much. I've talked to you guys about all the ones that I've owned before. I've talked to you about what I want to do to this one. I've talked to you about the long-term things that, I've, that I want to do with the car, but I've never actually told you why I love these cars. And these are the reasons why. And if you're new to the channel or if you're just watching this video, maybe you're pooping at home or something. Maybe you're sitting on the toilet. Maybe you're sitting at work, killing some time on your phone watching this. First of all, I appreciate it. Second of all, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that the STI is one of the best tuner cars that you can get? I'm not specifically saying it is the best, but I'm gonna say that it is probably within the top five that you can get. Now I am gonna end the video here because I gotta get home. I gotta get this edited for Thursday's upload. But with that, if you guys like this video, if you like the style of this video and you wanna see more of these, maybe we take the STI up and the BRZ up and we just do a camera run with some GoPros mounted on the car and the drone flying around. But if you guys wanna see some of that stuff, drop it down below and let me know and we can make that happen. So if you like the video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that like button and turn it blue. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, which you should be, because we have a lot of good stuff coming up, go ahead and do that in one of these corners. I'm driving, so I can't pick one right now. But with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies. Woo! <laughs>